Firstly, you need to watch the boldness of Sunday Igbo's in this video. Wow, this is really encouraging. Really encouraging. Sunday Bowo is determined. And just like he said, he said all the Yoruba land, that is where he will be going. He will be going to. And he was just trying to explain that that the people should not just blame the monarchs, the, the traditional rulers, the elders, that the problem lies on all those politicians because the politicians are the ones bringing fear, causing fear in the hearts of all those all those monarchs that 
what he was trying to say is that the monarchs are behind them, the elders in the land are behind them, but because they, but just that they cannot come out. And it's like a lot of people, he does not even want people to start uh, abusing uh, Ghanaian dams, Areo no Kakanfu. And he said, even they themselves are the smaller Areo no Kakanfu, that Areo no Kakanfu, when it gets to the time for him to come out, because a lot of people have been saying a lot of things that say, oh, why is he not coming out? That what kind of title is just, you know, just. He just having that title without any doing anything. And Sonic Bo was trying to tell them in that gathering that if the area of Nokakan for who happens to be Ghani Adams start coming now, that means <laughs> that means they have already exposed all their power and all their strength that people should just calm down. And he has vowed that all the fullness they will be dealt with. That he's not afraid of anybody. That if all those arrests that they're talking about it, they want to arrest, they want to arrest, that nobody is arresting anybody. That in as much the Fulanis will not allow, especially the end, the killers, Fulanis, not all Fulanis, in as much they will, they are going to say they are not going to allow them to rest. They themselves, they will not rest. They will not rest. Enough is enough. You know, it is this, uh, and a lot of people are really afraid. Even uh, a lot of people are really afraid for this guy that hmm, maybe the government can really come at the end of the day just to come and cause mayhem oh some people are saying oh why should you just you know you should just be careful don't just listen to people those people who are cheering you up how many politicians can really come of course a lot of people are saying that hey, oh maybe some people are really bank bankrolling him that because all the bees who is footing all the bees because he's going from places to places who is footing all the bees but is that what we are supposed to be talking about because some people just want to be politically correct irrespective of what is going to be behind the whole thing so if people, somebody would have just sat back and watched things deteriorate and people just die and they cannot, even the so-called gov governors, governors and the politicians receiving humongous salaries without doing anything. People would just fold their hands. The question now is that the doctor that died in that uh, or your community, what has been done to the family? Nothing. Everything the man worked for, all the suffering in his life, just Common people, commoners, just came and just finished him. The presidency did not see that kind of a, uh, uh, did not hear that kind of a uh, uh, incident. They pretend as if nothing. Somebody who even came to come and you are the one telling people to come and do agriculture, to come and do agriculture. The man came, and according to what we heard, he he was able to uh, employ more than hundred people. Then tell me the condition of those people as we speak. The governor, the government is not bothered. He bad that the government is not bothered how the man was killed. The government is not bothered how the people have been suffering. The people that you are encouraging to go into farming, even the ones that have been into in, 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 in who have been farming before, now you are discouraging everybody. You are not saying anything. All you are saying that nobody should tell them to leave. If you don't want people to ask them to leave, then why can't you make peace? Why can't you tell these people to do this X Y Z so that there will be peace? Now people want to defend themselves, and you are saying, oh, who gave them that right? Can you imagine that a governor of a Taraba state has come out to tell the federal government, allow people to defend themselves? We cannot continue to, to be waiting and just be looking at you people and you are ready not to do anything. You are there not to do anything. It's not going to happen. So, you can see the way people are really, are really, you know, cheering the man up because he has come to give them confidence. He has come to give them hope. These politicians are just there. They are going to be reading... Texts, they'll be reading uh, 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 speeches here and there. No action. No action. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts.